Good morning from La Lande, everyone. It is mid-November. It's 21 degrees. From here, I can hear my cousin laughing with his parents on FaceTime. Morning! Speaking to Mama and Papa. I can actually hear them from here. You don't need the mic. I think we can hear them from England. They've had a couple of days with Andrew Ricardo at theirs and they're about to start doing the Christmas decorations. <gasps> oh, so we actually really soon. I miss them. Love you! <laughs> My aunt and uncle have had a few days with Andrew and Ricardo in England. And from what I understand, it's been one glorious meal and cocktail after another. Today is a really exciting day because work is starting on the new garden area. Oh, it is all happening out here. The digger's out. I think that must mean Dan's here. I can see Yorick helping him. Kirsty marked out the edges of the new garden so we can see the shape. And now look everyone is working oh i'm really happy mommy's not here to see this all the lilacs are being ripped out i remember mommy was furious one of the first years we got here just because daddy had pruned them pretty harshly but they've been barely giving any flowers the whole time we've been here in spite of their great pruning so it's time to move them somewhere else morning dan hello Good to see you back in a digger at La Lande. It feels good. Yeah. I'm chatting to you. I hadn't even noticed there's a man in a tree. It's all go today. What? Oh, wow. No. I mean, this is the two legends working together, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It Damn. doesn't get any better than no, this, unfortunately, it really doesn't. for everyone else. No. <laughs> <laughs> did you just bring the one, one tea? Just I one, didn't. Just know. a one. What, three people have got to share that one tea? Well, time's a bit harsh. <laughs> I didn't know you were out here. I'll go make some more. Do you want normal tea? Yes. Why are you looking like that? I'm perfectly I capable I of making tea. I what normal tea. tea is in this place. It's just builder's tea. Yeah. With sugar for you, right? Yeah. See, I remembered. God, you're good. Bonjour, Yorick. Hey, okay. Ça va? So, uh, oh, we appear to be quite literally using manpower to pull carts. Yeah. Y a pas le petit tracteur? Pourquoi est-ce que tu fais ça, la <laughs> main? Pour le plaisir. Ah. Pour le sport. I never tire of seeing Nick in those trees because his agility is extraordinary. He's not actually taking this whole tree down. He's just reducing it in height. I'm running in to get the tea in the nick of time because it's just started drizzling and Andrew and Ricardo have just arrived. It's oh, a labor printer that oh, you can nice. connect to your database for all the things you have to send to the patrons. And that's, that's very Christmassy I think people. Natty is going to be yes. pretty wildly exciting. Maria, have you seen this? And you can get different size labels, so you could actually reorganize your whole life with labels. <laughs> which could be fun. Thank you, well, Andrew. I'll do a present for you then. Oh. <laughs> For two pounds, you get a fully aluminium reusable bottle. That's actually a brilliant idea. I think it's a really good I think I'm going to use it for the tap water by my bed from now on because it looks oh, good. Flower. I better go back out with Dan's tea, but before I do so, I'm just standing here in the arrière cuisine and the windowsill is so pretty. Pavlina made this display. Isn't that insanely pretty? Washing up is now a much more agreeable occupation than it was before. Such a genius idea, Pavlina. So when I came today, Kirsty's marked out everything that we're doing. So she's marked out where the hedge is going Amazing. and the line of this. So I'm just following what she's marked out and just clearing it all, basically. So it's actually much bigger than I thought it was going to be because it comes all the way down here. It's pretty huge. Yeah, well, this the hedge line's actually more in here. That's what I was thinking. this is like the same planting as that. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, so the border is going to carry on all the way along there. Yeah, so this border will come all the way up the hill round there, but the hedge will only come kind of here. Fabulous. Davey's joining us at the end of the month, so he'll be here when the first trees and hedge plants arrive to go into this garden. So it's all hands on deck getting ready for Davey's arrival. So basically just took all the shrubs that are within the garden like there's some lilacs and some other green things green things um, so speaks the gardener yeah <laughs> took them out 
that's what I've just done now. And then I'm just going to start scraping everything back. Okay. Oh, there goes quite unnerving that, that going on, right? <laughs> no, it's quite close to the digger. Oh! Whoa! I think it's time for hot buttered crumpets all round, and luckily we have some trusty M&S ones in the freezer. I'm having to add marmite to this one because Daniel's a very strange man who likes marmite on his crumpet. But I don't know. I think I'm starting to get used to the idea. I might try it myself. It's actually really good with a marmite, but I think for Yorick, for a Frenchman, this would be one step too far. So I put the salted caramel cream because I know he loves this with crumpets. I don't know how it went from digging out a garden to I doing a crumpet run. I don't enjoy giving them out. That's the <laughs> well, we've already had three of them. <laughs> Morning, cuz. <laughs> and Molly. I've become a crumpet butler somehow. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, don't pretend that wasn't your life's ambition. Crumpet You've butler. You've a lot of life goals here. I, I have, yeah. You really have, I've ticked man. a lot of the You've lists here. Yeah. Can never do it again. <laughs> have a crumpet, please. I don't like crumpets. What? what? Did you uh, not know that about me? No! One, one. You're English, though. Half English. I choose which half. Oh, uh, the bad me. side then. Oh, the, well, you don't have to have one if you don't, you don't like it. it. You look, you, you just, you look like you really, really don't made such an effort. You made such an effort. Oh, oh, oh this is painful to watch. Mm. <laughs> Does Molly <Swallow>. like it? <laughs> oh, it's lovely. You, you. You this bite, is painful. You bite either side together. No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, come on, we're going to give these to the others, to people who appreciate them more. Thanks, guys. <laughs> like that was a waste of a crumpet. <laughs> so, no. Such a waste of a crumpet. Yorick? Yes? On a porte de crumpet. <laughs> so how come you're round this side? Now uh, I try to just empty this van. Yes. In order to clean it after. Fantastic. So you're taking out all of the actual shelves. Yeah. It's making me think of the la voiture que ton père avait quand vous étiez tous dedans. Yeah, it's more or less the same. <laughs> Yorick is one of seven brothers and sisters. So they had this huge car that arrived every time they visited in the summer. It was amazing. And they would come out all looking perfect, like the Von Trapp children. So uh, you can see it's like... Uh... Not really empty for now. <laughs> yeah, we can't get much furniture in here. And furniture is the key. I think there is some surprise inside, so I will take uh, all of it. We move. But is there still stuff in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, uh, if you want, like... Matt really left it name, completely full. Look. What is that? It's like the, the light. Fire extinguisher. Plenty. I mean, we are very rich in fire extinguishers. Even our van has a fire extinguisher. Okay, great. Well, thanks. Good luck with it. Thanks. Only one final crumpet remains to be delivered. We've lost Hopefully Nick. Hopefully we don't have to throw it to the top of a tree. Well, the top of the tree is gone, so we definitely don't have to do that. What's Nick's, like, call? Ah. You know, like, Phillips is, oi, <laughs> mine's done. Good morning, Nick. Oh. We come bearing crumpet. Oh, <laughs> crumpet will be good. Dan is now the official new Lalande crumpet butler. It's a narrow job description. <laughs> the mighty have fallen. So all of these trees have been reduced in height because we really like them. We want to keep them. But as you can see there, this one that we're looking at was so much higher and its roots are really shallow, we've discovered. They're going horizontally. So in a high wind, it could go. And we were pretty worried about the buildings around it. But now it's going to be a lot safer. Now, we've took a Kirsty, and the hedge line is meant to be coming somewhere towards the tennis courts. Yeah. All the way down. And if you look, these oats are really overhanging it. They are. So we've tried to bring them back in harder. Plus, with the pine trees that was behind, it was pushing all the weight this way. So we tried to get them back so they're going to grow as the sun tracks around that way. Yes, yeah, so they'll go should straighter. Get, yeah. yeah, and we should get more light coming back into the new planting. Plus, we've tried to also keep the archway for the entrance into the forest between the two trees there between the um, beach and the oak do you think we should start replanting oaks in the woods no no they're going to come up naturally do you they're think coming up all over so if you clear around them yeah can we oaks are a really weird tree you could go and find a sapling there now 
spend a lot of money compost, so if you plant it in your middle of the garden, it'll die. You get one cup against the wall there and leave it where it's come up naturally, they're usually quite happy. Yeah. You're better leaving them where they are. But yeah, as you walk around them. and the, the acorns that are falling, they're, they're all popping up. I mean, there's a mixture between cherries, the acacias, the beech, the chestnuts. As you walk through there at the moment, you can see loads of new growth just coming up. I've come up to do some editing and I have to say I'm feeling quite sorry for the guys out there. The weather's getting more and more miserable. I'm actually in here with my heated electric blanket. So that's the only thing keeping me snug. But this might actually be the last cold week in this room because the heating engineers are coming back for take two of putting in the log burners. So very soon I should have a warm toasty log burner in that fireplace. We've hit a problem. No. You lot are so negative. <laughs> we haven't even tried yet. Okay, the reason we think we've got a problem is that this is pretty much where the fountain is supposed to go and we need to be digging down 80 centimetres and that's bedrock. I don't think that's a stone. Well, I actually think it's going more here, but yeah. So we might be okay. We'll see just how much we can take out. And we actually have a pecker attachment on the digger. So usually we could actually break that up, but it's right next to the chapel, which is in danger of the vault falling down. And we can't be making those sorts of vibrations until it's fixed. I mean, I like fountains, but I like the chapel more. Mm. It would be cheaper if it was all on the floor, though, to rebuild it rather than like, it's safe on scaffolding. OK, we'll see if we can just shift around the position of the fountain a bit. Yeah. Maybe here would be great. But then we've still got to get all the water and the electricity to yeah, it. Yes. Well, I'll ring Davey in a minute, but there's going to be a trench from here all the way probably to like the laundry. Yeah. And that's got to be 80 centimetres deep. 80 centimetres deep? Yeah. Well, there's no rock in this bit, so maybe that means we can be a little bit more hopeful. But we'll have to wait and see. The important thing is not too many vibrations around the chapel. Comme je suis content. I came to find Philip, but he's in a French class. Merci à vous. Au revoir. How did it go? Went really well. You're getting really good with them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you are. Come on, your French is good. I really like it because I've never done it in this style. It's like being back in high school, but then mm. me actually wanting to learn. <laughs> and they focus specifically on trying to build confidence in speaking. And I think that's quite a big thing. Ever since Philip has moved to France, he's been trying to improve his French. You can all hear how he's a complete perfectionist with his English. Most people wouldn't even be able to tell that he's Dutch and he wants the same skills with his French conversation. So he's been using Lingoda, an online language school, and amazingly they have offered to sponsor this video with this ad. They offer the most incredible service for learning French because they have online live classes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In fact, at the moment, they have over one and a half thousand teachers. You can choose one of four different languages that they offer, English, French, German, or Spanish. They also do business English. And the live classroom method means that they can really focus on individual students because they will only accept a maximum of five students in a class. So they're really building on interaction, communication, and learning those conversational skills. What else I really liked is that when you book your class, you also get some prep work that you can do. It's optional, but I did it and it really helped. Like, I felt like I was getting the most out of the class. It was very nice. I think Lingoda may have met a match in Philip because he's absolutely passionate about learning languages. And they have a super sprint challenge. And it means that if you take a class every single day for two months, a total of 60 classes, you get 100% of your money back. And even if you only get halfway there and you take 30 classes over two months, you will have achieved the sprint challenge and you get 50% of your money back. So if you're looking to excel in your chosen language, then the Lingoda sprint challenge is just what you need to stay motivated and committed to your goal. If you want to try it for yourself, then go to try.lingoda.com forward slash Chateau Diaries or click the link below to get more information. And if you use the code Stephanie, you'll get 20 euros or $25 off your sprint registration. But Philip, shouldn't you be cooking already? Um, I had this class booked in already, so I had to quickly do this. Because you know you like to have time mm -hmm. to, to calmly cook. But I mean, I'm confident because, you know, I'm making my grandmother's turkey and I've done that many a time before. It's been a while, but I'm sure I can do it. And it's Hutzpot, which is 
potatoes, or like a potato mash with carrots and onions. So I'm confident that that won't take too long. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Me too, and I'm using my grand great grandparents' wedding service. I'm liking the new cooking, Philip. I really could get used to this, Philip. It's not so bad because I really do want to improve my cooking, and I think this is a good way of doing it. I'm used to cooking for fewer people, maybe like four, and tonight will be seven. So we'll see how that goes. We're getting towards the end of the working day now. The weather is not great for it, but Dan has achieved a lot. He's managed to completely clear all of the lawn. I mean, admittedly, lawn is a very flattering word for this. Off the ground. Oh, hang on, he's coming back with the dumper. Lovely day for it. Need to up my pay. <laughs> up my race. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, it's big, job. isn't it? Yeah, it's really Huge. big. I don't think you should be out here much longer. Why will I melt? That's ridiculous. Come in, come into the warmth. No. It's better in that. No, I'm manly. I can handle this. Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry, I forgot for a moment. Uh, yeah, I was hoping it'd be done today, but I don't think it's just took too long to like landscape yeah. all this. Did you get any idea of how scrapey scrapey it was against the stones? There's like this much grass and then just stone the whole thing. Oh no. So we'll see. Not looking great for the fountain. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be one area big enough for yeah. it where we can put it. Yeah. Just work around that. <laughs> okay, well, you might be manly. I'm not. I'm going in. Dan just called me rather frantically from downstairs because, oh yes, the Muppet forgot to change his address with YouTube. So I am in possession of his YouTube plaque. I think I could probably hold this for ransom. Yeah, I'm too soft hearted. Let's go and put him out of his misery. Stop peeking. We're thrilled to see the development of your community and are proud to honour your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. So keep creating, keep building. I mean, quite literally, in your case, yeah. there's a whole shack yeah. to build. We can't wait to see what you'll do next and we're here to support you along the way. <laughs> congratulations, mate. Yeah, congratulations, seriously. Nice. What's a little sort of bleach blonde thing coming out of the side of your head? Um, this is my style. Is it, this is this. Yeah. That's uh, is that to match Look, the, the hair style? guff situation is very dire at the moment. <laughs> no, no, but what? But it's it's like it's, <laughs> you're very trendy. <laughs> I, I think that we're not cool enough to be hanging out with mm, Dan anymore. Now yeah. he's got his hundred thousand subscribers. You are very stylish. Yeah. Now. Put the phone back away. <laughs> 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 oh, so you're having beer and whiskey simultaneously. Mm -hmm. This is a big celebration. Yeah. I busted out the best crisps. Ooh, I appreciate that. <laughs> Daniel Preston, we are proud. A proper YouTuber. Congrats, congrats. congrats. Cheers, oh. that's me. So in, what, two years we've known each other. Not even, not quite two years. You have reached 100,000 on a YouTube channel that you launched and bought a chateau. Yeah. It's been What have you been doing in that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's been slacking, hasn't she? Well, to be fair, you know, we carry her. Do you need some work? <laughs> no. The running joke in the house is that Amory is constantly saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be going doing a little bit of uh, carpentry for Billy Petherick. You know, Dan's going to need his chateau doing. So yeah, I'll be back in a couple of years, maybe finish stuff then. Drew and Cardo as well. Don't forget them. Oh, you're poaching as well, are you? Only on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly After for drinks. Church. After church. <laughs> Who would have thought it, though, from what you've created... I'm sitting here with you, I'm sitting here with you. Yeah. We've, all, we've all met through friends. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is crazy because what it's funneled. Yeah. yeah, from what, yeah. yeah. You're Which... to blame, it's you. I'm oh, so sorry. <laughs> yes. I'm so sorry, Andrew. I should never have introduced you to these people. Oh, Andrew and Cobbler, they just come back from spending how many days with my parents? Two. Two. Two days. My mum rang me afterwards and just say, it's been magical. <laughs> you know, I phoned when they were all together and you were all just beaming, laughing, what sitting around the you? kitchen table. <laughs> <laughs> How many subs are you at now? 115. Oh, that's crazy. Thousand. And so yeah. quickly from 50. <laughs> If I just knew I had to buy a chateau before, that's the only thing. If you can, in hindsight, can think, okay, buy the chateau, start the YouTube channel, but... Yeah, yeah. no, you thought streaming was the way. 
for many years, yeah, for many days, for 400 <laughs> vlogs, I thought that was the way. <laughs> I was upstairs editing, so I didn't notice that downstairs cooking, Philip seems to have had a bit of a breakdown. Philip? Yes? How is it going now? I'm finished. Well, hurrah! Yes, and then I thought I didn't have enough. I think that is enough. I yeah. think you're okay. I think you can relax. Because in this pan, it looked like nothing. And I was like, oh my, I'm going to feed so many people. And they've been waiting. It's 10. It's, it's actually 10 past I, 10. Oh no. I told everyone dinner at 8.30. And I was like, I thought that was pushing it. <laughs> Look. I'm having a miserable time. You've given it your all. And remember, this series is called Recipe for Disaster. So you can have the odd disaster it's expected i'm a bit of perfectionist this does not <laughs> sit well with me <laughs> look at least it's warm so i think we should just get everyone to the table also philip look at it what is it blue not really well there we go yeah, it's a triumph it's for? a triumph it's not blue garlic come on let's go <laughs> it's not bad how many hours did it take you to create a bowl of mash with carrots and onions and a platter of turkey? I don't know, like four. My heart is And the lady breaking. table is not the most, it's not the best table I've ever done. It's lacking candles and it's lacking flowers. But at this point, I don't care. The, t the moment you stop caring about a table is the moment it's very, very clear to everybody yes. that you're in deep psychological distress. I'm just call everyone to dinner and get this night over with. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Philip. I've got a flower for the table. It matches the, um, that. I think you've picked that out very nicely, Look, Maria. It's basically identical in the slighting. See? You've got a team around you. You're not alone. Have a glass of wine. Mm. Shall I call everyone in? Yes. Definitely. At the We're eight, Stephanie. Eight people. So you're saying that after all of this, he's laid the table for one person too few. So who's going to tell him? There are eight people for dinner. There weren't. I checked. Dan said he wasn't eating with us. Oh, Dan's eating with us. Mm. We wore him down. I'll go and grab my place. Madame? Also oh, mademoiselle? Yeah. It's my it's bigger. Uh, That'd be fine. Yeah. yeah. Let's Let's go. Go. Any food at this point, <laughs> any food. <laughs> at this hour. <laughs> but you're glad you stayed. But <laughs> which one do you have? Mais n'importe lequel, un petit. Un petit, aye, this one. What? Merci. This is one more. Beautiful. Beautiful. Delicious. It's really good. Philip, genuinely, we're not just saying this, it is actually good. You can relax. That's not the way. It's looking relaxing. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Honestly, it's Welcome so good. Welcome to the club, Philip. Maybe you should do lunch. <laughs> and then that would be normal dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, Philip. Yeah, cheers. Honestly, Thank you. cheers. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Thank you all for joining us for some more Leland Live. And if any of you are curious and would like to see Philip's side of his great kitchen disaster, then you can go over and see his video of how he made his grandmother's turkey and hotspot over on his channel, Philip Janssen Now. Before I go, I would like to say a big thank you to all of my patrons, but especially Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, John and Ann Vipes, April Westervelt, Linda Viest, Christine Wilson, and Beverly Veras Yusufian. A huge thank you to all of you, and I look forward to seeing you again on Sunday.